Now let's talk about how to add or remove points from an edit curve. So you'll notice that we either have the option of doing a split curve or we can delete. So let's do something simple here. We're going to convert this to linear. So now we have this nice kind of diamond shape here. We're going to fix our width. And in fact, let's make this kind of a, a rectangular diamond or a square diamond. That works fine. So if we want to add a point at, let's say, point 1, we can say split U. Now what this is going to do is it's going to find that location and it's going to set any other parameters that are necessary to exactly maintain that shape. We can also do a split pick. So let's put one over here on the other side, about there. And so we can click graphically and pick a point where we want. Now we can move this around and manipulate it. Let's do this again on a circle and look at what happens. So if I click here, notice that the strengths of these control points have all been adjusted to exactly maintain the original curve. But now let's look at what happens if we go and delete something. So notice we already have this control point selected. We can move back and forth and let's delete that point. Watch what happens. OpenVSP does not go back and recreate the original curve after you have deleted that point. It assumes that you no longer want it and leaves these parameters alone. So when you add, it will recompute to maintain the original. When you delete, it will remove it and leave everything here the same. Similarly, if we were to say split pick over on this side, once again, it does the same thing. We can go and delete pick, click on that point, and it does exactly the same thing, clears it out. So when you're dealing with adding and removing splits or points in Edit Curve and OpenVSP, just bear in mind that you can always add points in and have relatively little effect on what's going on. One of the differences of that would be something like a spline, for example. So if we split pick and click that point, you notice that it does have now another enforced point that it has to go through. You've changed the polynomial. And so that will change the source. But in most cases with Cubic Bezier, it'll try and exactly recreate it. Same thing with linear. So those are some of the nuances on how you add and remove points in Edit Curve and OpenVSP.